Greetings, presentation, parishioners, and all of you gathering with us in the virtual world. We are gathered here today to pray the stations of the cross together. This is an important prayer for us to continue in this Lenten season. Even though we can't be together here in church, we want you to partic participate with us in the best way that you can. This is an important prayer that reminds us to follow Jesus and his way of the cross in all that we do. So thank you for joining us, and let's begin in the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. And the grace and peace of Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. And with your spirit. Christ speaks. These 14 steps that you are now about to walk, you do not take alone. I walk with you. Though you are you and I am I, yet we are truly one, one Christ. And therefore, my way of the cross 2,000 years ago and your way of the cross now are also one. But note this difference. My life was incomplete until I crowned it by my death. Your 14 steps will only be complete when you have crowned them by your life. The first station, Jesus is condemned to death. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. In Pilate's hands, my other self, I see my Father's will. Though Pilate is unjust, he is the lawful governor, and he has power over me. And so the Son of God obeys. If I can bow to Pilate's rule, because this is my Father's will, can you refuse obedience to those whom I place over you? My Jesus Lord, obedience costs you your life. For me, it costs an act of will, no more. And yet how hard it is for me to bend. Remove the blindness from my eyes, that I may see that it is you whom I obey in all who govern me. Lord, it is you. The second station, Jesus takes his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed them. This cross, this chunk of tree, is what my Father chose for me. The crosses you must bear are largely products of your daily life. And yet my Father chose them too for you. Receive them from his hands. Take heart, my other self. I will not let your burdens grow one ounce too heavy for your strength. My Jesus Lord, I take my daily cross. I welcome the monotony that often marks my day, discomforts of all kinds, the summer's heat, the winter's cold, my disappointments, tensions, setbacks, cares. Remind me often that in carrying my cross, I carry yours with you. And though I bear a sliver only of your cross, you carry all of mine except a sliver in return. The third station, Jesus falls the first time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. The God who made the universe and holds it in existence by his will alone becomes a man, too weak to bear a piece of timber's weight. How human in his weakness is the Son of God. My Father willed it thus. I could not be your model otherwise. If you would be my other self, you also must accept without complaint your human frailties. Lord Jesus, how can I refuse? I willingly accept my weaknesses, my irritations, and my moods, my headaches and fatigue, all my defects of body, mind, and soul, because they are your will for me. These handicaps of my humanity, I gladly suffer them. Make me content with all my discontents, but give me strength to struggle after you. The fourth station, Jesus meets his mother. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by the holy cross you have redeemed the world. My mother sees my lips, body, 
She sees me kick and driven like a beast. She counts my every wound. But though her soul cries out in agony, no protest or complaint escapes her lips or even enters her thoughts. She shares my mind and I share hers. We hide no pain, no sorrow from each other's eyes. This is my Father's will. My Jesus Lord, I know what you are telling me. To watch the pain of those we love is harder than to bear our own. To carry my cross after me, I too must stand and watch the sufferings of my dear ones, the heartaches, sicknesses, and grief of those I love. And I must let them watch mine too. I do believe for those who love you, all things work together unto good. The fifth station, Simon helps Jesus carry the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. My strength is gone. I can no longer bear the cross alone. And so the legionnaires make Simon give me aid. This Simon is like you, my own self. Give me your strength. Each time you lift some burden from another's back, you lift as with your very hand the cross's awful weight that crushes me. Lord, make me realize that every time I wipe a dish, pick up an object off the floor, assist a child in some small task, or give another preference in traffic or the store, each time I feed the hungry, clothe the naked, teach the ignorant, or lend my hand in any way, it matters not to whom. My name is Simon. And the kindness I extend to them, I really give to you. The sixth station, Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Can you be brave enough, my other self, to wipe my bloody face? Where is my face, you ask? At home, whenever eyes fill up with tears. At work, when tensions rise. On playgrounds, in the slums, the courts, the hospitals, the jails. Wherever suffering exists, my face is there. And there I look for you to wipe away my blood and tears. Lord, what you ask is hard. It calls for courage and self-sacrifice, and I am weak. Please give me strength. Don't let me run away because of fear. Lord, live in me and act in me and love in me. And not in me alone, in all of us so that we may reveal no more your bloody but your glorious face on earth. The seventh station, Jesus falls the second time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. The seventh step, my other self, is one that tests your will. From this fall, learn to persevere in doing good. The time will come when all your efforts seem to fail, and you will think, I can't go on. Then turn to me, my heavy laden one, and I will give you rest. Trust me and carry on. Give me courage, Lord, when failure presses heavily on me, and I am desperate. Stretch out your hand to lift me up. I know I must not cease, but persevere in doing good. But help me, Lord. Alone there's nothing I can do. With you, I can do anything you ask. I will. So what do you need to do? Unplug it. I'm going to unplug the white cord. I'll do it. Well, let's put the orange one over there. Right? I have one. The eighth station, Jesus consoles the women of Jerusalem. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. 
because by your holy cross you have redeemed them. How often had I longed to take the children of Jerusalem and gather them to me, but they refused. But now these women weep for me, and my heart mourns for them, mourns for their sorrows that will come. I comfort those who seek to solace me. How gentle can you be, my other self? How calm. My Jesus, your compassion, in your passion, is beyond compare. Lord, teach me. Help me learn. When I would snap at those who hurt me with their ridicule, those who misunderstand or hinder me with some misguided helpfulness, those who intrude upon my privacy, then help me curb my tongue. May gentleness become my cloak. Lord, make me kind like you. The ninth station. Jesus falls the third time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because it's by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Completely drained of strength, I lie collapsed upon the cobblestones. My body cannot move. No blows, no kicks can rouse it up. And yet my will is mine, and so is yours. Know this, my other self. Your body may be broken, but no force on earth and none in hell can take away your will. Your will is yours. My Lord, I see you take a moment's rest, then rise and stagger on. So I can do, because my will is mine. When all my strength is gone, and guilt and self-reproach press me to earth and seem to hold me fast, protect me from the sin of Judas, save me from despair. Lord, never let me feel that any sin of mine is greater than your love. No matter what my past has been, I can begin anew. The Tenth Station Jesus is stripped of his garments. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Behold my other self, the poorest king who ever lived. Before my creatures I stand stripped. The cross, my deathbed, even this is not mine. Yet who has ever been so rich? Possessing nothing, I own all, my Father's love. If you too would own everything, but not solicitous, be not solicitous about your food, your clothes, your life. My Lord, I offer you my all, whatever I possess, and more, myself. Detach me from the craving for prestige, position, wealth. Root out of me all trace of envy of my neighbor, who has more than I. Release me from the vice of pride, my longing to exalt myself, and lead me to the lowest place. May I be poor in spirit, Lord, so that I can be rich in you. The eleventh station, Jesus is crucified. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Can you imagine what a crucifixion is? My executioners stretch my arms. They hold my hand and wrist against the wood and press the nail until it stabs my flesh. Then with one heavy hammer smash, they drive it through. And pain bursts like a bomb of fire in my brain. They seize the other arm and agony again explodes. Then raising up my knees, so that my feet are flat against the wood. They hammer them fast, too. My God, I look at you and think, is my soul worth this much? What can I give you in return? I hear it now except for all my life. Whatever sickness, torment, agony may come, to every cross I touch my lips. O oh, blessed cross, that lets me be, with you, a co-redeemer of humanity.
Please kneel if you are able. The twelfth station, Jesus dies on the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Yes, by your holy cross, you have the world. The cross becomes a pulpit now. Forgive them, Father. You will be with me in paradise. There is your mother. There, your son. I thirst. It is complete. To speak, I have to raise myself by pressing on my wrists and feet. And every move engulfs me in new waves of agony. And then, when I've worn enough, have emptied my humanity, I let my mortal life depart. My Jesus, God, what can I say or do? I offer you my death with all its pains, accepting now the time and kind of death in store for me. Not by a single instant would I lengthen my life span. I offer you my death for my own sins and for those of all humanity. My God, my God, forsake us not. We know not what we do. The thirteenth station. Jesus is taken down from the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. The sacrifice is done. Yes, my mass is complete, but not my mother's and not yours, my other self. My mother still must cradle in her arms the lifeless body of the son she bore. You too must part from those you love and grief will come to you. In your bereavements, think of this. A multitude of souls were saved by Mary sharing in my poverty. Your grief can also be the price of souls. I beg you, Lord, help me accept the pardons that has come. From friends who go away, my children leave home, and most of all, my dear ones, when you shall call them to yourself. Then give me grace to say, as it has pleased you, Lord, to take them home. I bow to your most holy will. And if by just one word I might restore their lives against your will, I will not speak. Grant them eternal joy. The fourteenth station. Jesus is laid in the tomb. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by the holy cross you have redeemed the world. So ends my mortal life. But now another life begins for Mary and for Magdalene, for Peter and for John, and you. My life's work is done. My work within and through my church must now commence. I look to you, my other self. Day in, day out, from this time forth, be my apostle. Victim, saint. My Jesus, Lord, you know my spirit is as well as my flesh is weak. The teaching you could not impart, the sufferings you could not bear, the works of love you could not do in your short life on earth. Let me impart and bear and do through you. But I am nothing, Lord. Help me. Christ speaks. I told you at the start, my other self, my life was not complete until I crowned it by my death. Your way is not complete unless you crown it by your life. Accept each moment as it comes to you, with faith and trust that all that happens has my mark on it. A simple fiat, this is all it takes, a breathing in your heart. I will it, Lord. So seek me not in far off places. I am close at hand. Your workbench, office, kitchen, these are altars where you offer love, and I am there with you. Go now, take up your cross, and with your life, complete your way. So as we continue to journey with Jesus in this Lenten season, as we continue to follow his way to the cross, let us especially lift up in prayer those who are suffering during this time.
but to remember all of those who are working hard uh, to keep us all healthy. Well, let's pray especially for one another as we gather in this virtual reality but stay connected through our faith and our prayer. So as we imitate the way of Christ in our lives, let us together pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. And as we journey with our Blessed Mother, and as we stand at the cross with her, we together pray in her honor. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the of our death. Amen. And glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Blessings of God's peace, love, and joy to all of you. Amen.